What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV, and I am back with another video. Before I get into the video, go ahead and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and that post notification bell so you won't miss any content uploaded to the channel. Now let's get into this video. Chocolatito Gonzalez could face Juan Francisco Estrada, and I'm talking about Roman Gonzalez. If y'all don't know, this news may have flew under the radar yesterday, but this is... You know, a good fight. Yes, Roman Gonzalez has lost his last two fights. His most recent one coming to some uh, Sorong Vasai, excuse me, um, by fourth round brutal knockout. Um, but he's ready to come back. Juan Francisco Estrada is coming off of a loss to uh, Sorong Vasai, a close decision loss in an excellent fight. He was hoping to be able to get a chance to avenge, um, you know, that loss. And he was expected to headline um, the card against, uh, you know, Sora Runs beside uh, the Superfly 3 card. But that's not going to happen because according to Tom Loeffler, um, Sora Runs beside has, is, 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 has instead elected to fight in Thailand, his home country. He will be back in the States next year. So that leaves Estrada without an opponent. And without a proper opponent, who wants to see him face Carlos Quadras again? That was a good fight, but nah, not yet. Quadras needs to bounce back. Um, Arroyo, mm, maybe he's in line for a title shot, so he's not going to try to risk that against Juan Francisco Estrada. So that brings to um, me, in my opinion, Roman Gonzalez. Perfect opportunity. Estrada has been long, has long wanted a rematch with uh, Roman Gonzalez. They fought in a very uh, good fight a few years ago. Um, he's been chasing Gonzalez, and now this is the perfect time. Obviously, the roles are reversed because Chocolatito Gonzalez isn't what he used to be, but he's still a very capable fighter. Juan Francisco Estrada has been in his wars. Um, I think this is a fight that you have to tip the scale in favor of Estrada, but you can't count out, um, you know, Roman Gonzalez at all. This will be a six-year in the making rematch, and I'll post a link to the article description from 3kingsboxing.com so you can check it out for yourself. Um, but if this fight does go down, it will be September 8th at the Forum in Los Angeles, according to Tom Loeffler. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think that it's a good fight. I think it'll be a great fight for however long it lasts. I think that um, both guys have some unfinished business. And I think that people will be receptive. People love Roman Gonzalez, um, no, not over, not only over there in his home country of Nicaragua, but they love him over here in the States. Uh, he's a future Hall of Famer, a great fighter, former pound for pound, number one in the world. And he's looking to snap a two-fight losing streak. You know what I'm saying? And what better way to do it against a guy that you beat six years ago um, in a title fight, in an excellent fight, and kind of, you know, can dispel the notion that, you are past your prime or you've seen better days and you're no longer uh, as relevant as you once were. So I look forward to this fight. If it happens, it's a good fight. It's a fight you can't complain because you know they're going to bring the action and you know the undercard is going to be stacked regardless of who headlines and who opens up the card and who's the co-main event. Um, so um, 3kingsboxing.com will keep you updated as more concrete information comes out. Uh, shout out to everybody in the movement that is moving with us. Be sure to check out 3kingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news. Report it the way it should be. Leave comments in the comment section down below. Give me your thoughts on this potential rematch and who do you favor. Shout out to my boy CJ from the Boxing Clinic and more. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.